What's up, Fresh Squad? Back with another video. We are talking about the long awaited, long overdue fragrance, and that is Latafa's Assad Zanzibar. Now, you can already see the fragrance right here. I love the fragrance so far, and I am going to tell you all about it. But before I do, you have to like the video, you have to subscribe, and you have to comment telling me if you have this fragrance, if you like it if you are looking forward to getting it, and how much you love the content, obviously. All right, let's talk about the first thing that I love about this, and that is the bottle. I love the bottle. I love the bottle from the original one, which I haven't smelled actually, but I love the way how it looked. But this one I love even more because I love the color blue. I know I might I may be a bit cliche as most guys love the color blue but um, I don't care I love the color blue I love the silver accents to it love everything about it right and usually fragrances that come in blue bottles in my opinion they are usually either very good or just all right I rarely see a bad fragrance in a blue bottle and I was right because this is a really good fragrance and I think it is something very good for the spring and summer time. And this is what I'm going to be wearing during the spring and summer time for 2024 and going forward. Now, the only way I'm going to stop wearing this is if something better comes out. And I haven't seen anything better come out yet. So this is my fragrance right now and I'm going to be wearing it. Okay, so let's get over the riding of this bottle and actually get into what's inside of it. And it is very interesting what they did with this bottle. Because what they did with this is that they have actually added a bit of spiciness with a bit of aquaticness and also thrown in some creamy sweetness in there. It has vanilla, it has black pepper, it has... Um, some coconut in there as well. I believe it has lavender in there. I'm not entirely certain, but this is done well. Now, the only thing I will say is that with this fragrance, it will not be a mass appealing fragrance. So if you're someone who yearns for compliments with your fragrances, then this may be a hit or miss. Like you'll have people that like it because the first day I wore it, I got a compliment, but that is going to vary obviously on your experiences and your environment. So I only wore this to an office, lasted on my skin for about 10 hours and it also projected for about four to five hours. I think that is very good for this fragrance because it is going for only $30 on discounters or you can pay $50 for retail like I did and most people did to pre-order this thing. I've never pre-ordered anything in my life. And look at me, buying Latafa's fragrances for $50. Not that the price is bad, but you know, we love to save over here on the Fresh Squad and any dollar I can save, I'm gonna save, but I really wanted to be one of the first ones to get this and review it for you guys. Great, great fragrance. Okay, now I've already talked about the scent profile. I've already talked about the pricing and I've also talked about the longevity of this fragrance. So all that's left is for me to recommend this, right? Wrong. I do support buying samples over here heavily. I don't suggest to blind buy any fragrance at all unless you're a fragrance reviewer. I, I, I wouldn't say to blind buy this, but you can because it's only $30 and I would say to blind buy this if you love sweet fragrances. If you love sweet fragrances and I think you most likely love this fragrance. Now that is subjective and that is not going to necessarily be the case. So there is still a chance of you not liking this because as I said before, this is not going to be one of those fragrances that is very mass appealing. It's going to be catered to certain type of nose uh, I don't even know what to say right there. I wouldn't say, yeah, just certain type of noses um, would like this fragrance and certain types would not like this fragrance. So it's whatever, you know, blind buy it if you want for the $30. If you don't mind, um, 
even if you don't like it, maybe you can give it to someone that is close to you or just give it to someone random. If you're a fragrance collector, then it is something that I say, go ahead, pull the trigger on. Fragrance reviewer, if you're over here watching my video, man, <laughs> what are you doing? You should have already reviewed this. If you already reviewed this, then I'm probably saying maybe the same thing as you or something along the lines, but I would say pull the trigger on this only if you are that much of a fragrance lover and a fragrance collector. But aside from that, if you just wanted a nice new scent that's gonna be for spring or summer, I say wait a little, see if you can get a sample of this and get your nose on it and test it out. See if it's in any stores close by you and go from there. But aside from that, Nice fragrance, that's off. I give this one an 8.5 out of 10. And I'm gonna test it out some more. See how it works in the high heat. And that's all for me today. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Very important to subscribe and like. That helps me so that I can help you. All right, big up.